classified ad is nothing but a modern version of what we used to see in the newspaper. It's an ad, somebody selling something, they're just doing it electronically and getting it out to a whole lot more audience. And with that audience comes opportunity for fraud, uh, for people to take advantage of the anonymity that comes from buying something sight unseen. We've seen everything from large trucks for sale that people have been defrauded on to Billy Goats. It's everything from cars to livestock. There is no, there is no limit. So there are absolutely red flags to look for. And I've personally done research myself looking. And it's keep your eyes open for the things that people say are not available for you to see first. You know, if you want to come to meet them to look at this item that they have posted for sale, but they say it's unavailable for you to see, that should, that's a flag. Pay attention to the phone numbers that these people are using or wanting you to contact them at. You know, are they saying that the item is in Charlotte or Gastonia, but the phone number is in Kansas? And probably the, the third thing, and most importantly, is the item that is obviously too good to be true. A $10,000, you know, one-year-old ATV that somebody is selling for $2,000. That's there to bait you in, to get you excited, and maybe get you to not think rationally about what you're getting ready to do. Well, I think no, no to ask, what questions to ask. Don't, don't go in to buy that ATV or to start asking questions if you don't know anything about ATVs. I absolutely recommend and have have done this myself to to make a purchase that I of something I sought online was to go to a very very public place. Uh, even one step above that is a is a police department or a fire department. If you feel that you've been scammed, and you'll you'll probably know it because you've paid for something and that you did not receive, which is pretty much the definition of a of a scam or a or a it's a crime. Um, we encourage you to, to call your local police department and, and make a report. You are the consumer. You have total control.